that sometimes when I feel alone In a second I'll be right there Turn around, let it rain Turn around and let it rain on me Don't you be afraid Hoping the volume sounds a little bit clearer than that I put these in. So, um, what you just saw was something that I've been working on for a while. If you've been watching my vlogs, I have a drone. It's a DJI Mini. I'll put the links in the bottom below, um, and I'll show you a picture right now. That's been a gift from my mom, and it has been, <laughs> I should say, a gift from my mom and dad. And it has been one of the most fun things that I've ever had a chance to create with. I think I'm just now figuring out a little bit more about how to use it. The shot that you just saw, that was something that I really had a vision for. I couldn't um, predict uh, just how close of parameters to people, cars, the uh, severe wind advisory that was coming up on the screen, um, how that would all play into the vision. But still glad I went for it. Hope you enjoyed it. By the way, if you've never been to Brentwood or Mount Julia or Murfreesboro or just anywhere in Nashville for Just Love Coffee, you guys are missing out. It's the best atmosphere. Uh, they're a philanthropic company. They're just awesome. I love Just Love Coffee. So a couple of things on YouTube that I've been working on is just compiling a focus. You really have to clarify what it is that you want to do before you go and do it. I've now had a chance, this is my sixth vlog, um, I'm finding that uh, you have to write down, or at least deeply envision, what it is that you want to accomplish. My number two tip for starting a vlog is, as you're shooting, go back and look at your footage. <laughs> there was this great scene I had in mind and part of my plan on heading to Murfreesboro to shoot um, some of the new vlog for the Hustle Finder. I'm gonna um, tell you about that footage before I show you, but. I was in the car and I had this discussion about how nervous I was to get started and how um, I really hoped that it was going to go fine and the intention was to be able to show a little bit of traveling have that discussion with you as the viewer as we were going along but what had happened was is I accidentally pressed a button that made everything slow motion and therefore a good chunk of explaining what was going to happen that I definitely planned on using in my video either this video or the video that I'll first launch for the hustle finder it's it's out the window I can't use it so you have to improvise which means rule number three that I have so far is overshoot and be flexible um, one of the skills you develop as a video editor is that you're gonna have to make some choices based on your goals to continue to tell a narrative or a story visually in better words, how you tell the story without saying any words to your viewer. It's a very important part of the skill set. And don't be hard on yourself if you don't pick it up right away. There's lots of different ways that you can be creative with transitioning things. Sometimes you can use the music bed and at different cuts of the beat be able to change scenes. A lot of times when I'm talking, I'll cut out ands and uhs and I'll go right to the next sentence and cut some of that time. So that's my third tip is just be flexible in in your um, editing or your methods, but firm in your goals. So one thing about YouTube is that it is the second largest search engine. That's right, the second. One being, you guessed it, Google. One thing about YouTube is it uses the detailed information in your bio, anything that you post in the details information on each video, the tags that you use, and the title that you use. That is the square one of how people find you on YouTube. A chunk of that and its consistency also has a lot to do with how you get recommended as a video for people to watch. Sometimes it's based on those search terms. Sometimes it's based on if your video is popping up or um, in other words, if it's trending to where it's having more views and more people are searching for certain things that they click on and watch to somewhere between 30 seconds to three minutes. When that happens, you start to be more suggested in YouTube and more suggested in YouTube. 
And at a certain point, once you grow your audience and you're suggested more often, then you tend to pull rank over the next person who may have a similar title, a similar niche, or in my case, same name. She was starting to feel a little sorry for herself. What's wrong, Emily? Thomas, have you ever delivered anything exciting? Oh yes, lots of times. Once, I delivered a jet engine? It started up, and I went flying across Sodor at supersonic speed. Oh, I've never delivered anything exciting. I bet you have, Emily. Think really hard. <gasps> well, there was that time I took Sodor United's football kit to the laundry. <laughs> Stinky laundry isn't exciting, <laughs> Emily. Y'all, I never thought in a million years that part of learning YouTube would be figuring out how to outperform a claymation train. I belong, I belong to you. I belong, I belong to you. Do just what you want. Thank you again to everyone who has been chiming in, sending me a comment, someone who's been supportive in the Facebook community for um, women creators, um, family, friends, everyone just an encouraging word. Thank you so much. This is just my sixth vlog, guys, but I intend on doing a lot more and I couldn't do it without it with that support that you all give. So thank you so much. All right, y'all. Hope you have a wonderful week. Be good to one another. Bye.